this point I'm going to give up like like this is not working out for me. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, as usual, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button down below, like this video, share with your friends, and yeah. So today's video, I'm basically going to try following this um, J Lo's makeup artist makeup technique. His name is Sort Banners. I think I got the pronunciation of his son anymore. Yeah, so he's J Lo's makeup artist, and he's a celebrity celebrity makeup artist as well. So he doesn't just do J Lo; he also does like other um artist as well so i don't want this video to be too long because you know i'm gonna try following so already it's gonna be long but just wanted to give you guys a very short preamble about you know him i'm also going to try to leave a link to the real video in the description box and also put a link to just in case you want to read up more on him or about him i'll also leave a link to wikipedia's um information about scott banners in the description box so let's get started i actually wanted this video to be as close as um to the video they made as possible so i couldn't find any off shoulder long sleeve black long sleeve so i, I just wore like a black why are you looking at me i wanted it to be as close as possible to the real video as i could possibly make it that's why i tried to look for an off shoulder black top but i didn't see any so i have a black um armless on so that should work he highlighted like her shoulders so everything has to show you know Oh, I was going to wear my hair into a bun, bun, but the hair is too heavy, so it's going to be too big and you probably won't even see it, so I just left it down. What I like to do with this is to bring it in, and you just use it to, like, eliminate stuff. And I'm going to go in ham. Like, I'm like, going to use yes, makeup. Like, I'm like not going to pretend, like... Just drench me. My skin eats makeup. Like, yeah. it really does. I did it's your makeup once before, and it was like that. You don't use primer? For what? I don't really need for what? <laughs> I don't really need to it. To fill everything in. Wow, this is a look. I like the contouring and everything to do the work underneath the foundation so you don't see it. Now. Okay. So he used the flat brush to blend out the concealer. Let me get that. I think I have one. Yeah, so I have this. Yeah, so I have this. This is not really and then it blends really well into the skin so it might not really highlight well i usually have to do like two coats of that for it to really come out um so i'm going to use the color pop one and i'm going to go in ham like i'm going to use yes, makeup I like i'm like not going to pretend like just drench me my skin eats makeup like yeah. it really does i did it, your makeup once before and it was like that you don't use primer for what I don't what really do you mean for what? <laughs> I don't really need to it. To fill everything in. Wow, this is a look. I like the contouring and everything to do the work underneath the foundation so you don't see it. Now, this is everybody's like, where do I contour? So this is... Okay, so let me just quickly catch up. What are you thinking about, babe? Um, what I like to do with it is just kind of blend it out. Actually, it's working into the skin. Now I'm starting to feel like that guy from, remember, who used to do the painting? So he starts to blend it out like this. He started with the outer corners. Okay, we're going to put a little tree in right underneath your nose. Do a happy concealer. A happy concealer. And there's, there's a small little squirrel jumping around on your forehead. Okay, you go.
we're using the black of our one. Contour, and then they drag all this brown into the nose and into the side of the face. And then they just face tune it later. Which is, which is an issue. Now the trick to having a fuller lip is not... Okay, so... Okay, I've decided I'm gonna use some Chanel in it. Ready? Oh! We're gonna start with fun. He's kind of ready and I'm like, this is so relaxing, you guys. I usually sit here and I have to do... Like this. She's there, but she's blended. When did you discover that technique? Like, really no one else does that. It's... You Where know, you just do the, the contour under and then you do... It's painting. Everything, like, you know, listen, top. I... Worked with light and dark painting. <laughs> You've got this white hand. Oh my god, I'm putting those away. I need to spray tan. I don't know why he didn't use moisturizer or primer because I can already see my skin underneath the concealer I used. So. Okay, so now he's applying blush and he's using cream blush, but I don't have cream blush, but I have a lipstick that we can use. So, what brush is he using? For a couple reasons. So he's using another brush. I'm just gonna use this one. I just washed all the brushes today, so yesterday rather. I'm not ready to wash another bunch again. Okay, so next he went ahead to set Tati's face and he used the white one. I think that's the RCME setting powder, but I don't have that. What I have is the Satch Buttercup, so I'll be using this instead to set my under eyes. He went ahead to re-highlight to re -highlight under her eyes, but I'm already looking like a ghost now, so there's no need for me to do that. I'm just going to skip that. See, I know it looks like, even I, as I'm seeing on my monitor, it looks really nice, but this is not working out. Like, can you see? But we're not going to give up yet. <laughs> we're going to complete it. So... It's they the jam. are so, so good. I work with so many different brushes. I've tried so many different brushes so over the years doing what I do. We're twisting the parameters of our face. 
this point I'm going to give up like like this is not working out for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like I have like dry patches under my eyes. I know it looks good like on camera right now, but it's not looking good to me. So that just goes a long way to say that one person's technique might not necessarily work for you. I'm sure if I had practiced before doing this video, I might have done it better, but yeah it looks good but i don't go any further beg because like i already ruined the face and i'm not comfortable with that so going off i hope you guys enjoyed this trial i'm sorry that i'm cutting it off this way but yeah scott is an amazing makeup artist he does like a great work i don't know how he managed to pull this off on jlo and every other person has, he has been doing makeup for but it didn't work out for me <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for watching um feel free to try this at home and let me know what you think